the, the problem uh, of uh, the uh, leakage uh, in uh, water pipelines uh, is uh, known worldwide and is characterizing uh, uh, more or less uh, any country. As you know, there is a great correlation between water resources and climate change. And we are really very pleased uh, that we can contribute to this uh, global problem through this project. Normally, uh, to identify leakages, uh, you need uh, to use uh, very expensive uh, techniques. Uh, it is very difficult uh, to uh, identify with uh, sufficient precision which is the exact position of the leakage because uh, normally the pipe uh, is buried in the ground. So I conceived an idea to use a wireless technology and basically to build up a sort of a mobile phone that is able to navigate inside the pipelines. I proposed this idea to some friends and colleagues that work in Qatar University and in the Qatar University Wireless Innovation Center, now QMIC, and we decided to submit the proposal to QNRF, the Qatar National Research Fund, which is the entity that uh, uh, finances uh, research activity in Qatar. We have many significant collaborators as part of this initiative, including Kahrama in Qatar, the Qatar National Research Fund in Qatar, as well as many uh, collaborating uh, companies in Italy. It was uh, in uh, late 2008, uh, the proposal was accepted. We started working uh, on the project uh, in 2009. In November 2009, we launched a, a global initiative called Wireless Innovations for Water Conservation. As part of that initiative, the Qatar Mobility Innovation Center, in collaboration with the Politecnico di Torino and the College of Engineering in Qatar University, embarked on a major project to tackle uh, uh, water uh, leakage and underground distribution networks. The project uh, is ending uh, in the beginning of 2013 and now, we are in the, uh, uh, December 2012, we are ready to manufacture and to present the first prototype. Today we are happy to share with you the results of that work in the form of a complete uh, prototype system based on using wireless technologies that will allow us to detect water leakage and make it easier and more cost effective to tackle this important problem. So the water mold has uh, different components. We will start from this end and this is the antenna. The antenna is, uh, uh, is located on uh, one side of uh, the sensor because it has to transmit the information towards uh, uh, the surface without any object uh, in front of, uh, of it. That was uh, developed by Politecnico team. Antenna has been uh, designed uh, taking out into account the presence of uh, the electronic uh, boards on the back of, um, of it. This is the electronic board. It consists of the microcontroller and we have the RF module that uh, transmitted the signals to the gateway and we have the uh, amplifier here and this is the input for the signal for the hydrophone. Uh, of course we need the power supply which is uh, connected here. We can uh, put everything in uh, the, uh, in, uh, the uh, shells and connect the hydrophone to the input. Now we are in an anechoic chamber. This is the ideal environment to test uh, the performance of uh, uh, the antenna. And uh, um, in this particular anechoic chamber, we can test also uh, the uh, emission and the immunity of this uh, sensor. That is uh, uh, very important uh, uh, for uh, the, uh, from the electromagnetic compatibility uh, point of view. We are here monitoring uh, the EMI signals uh, using the uh, EMI test receiver. And here we can see the signal coming from uh, received by the antenna that we have seen in the anechoic chamber. And we can see also the, the signal power or the, the strength at each uh, location while we rotate the, the, uh, the water mode. Okay. Um, then we can uh, try to optimize the uh, performance of the, uh, the uh, antenna based on these signals. And it's very helpful for us to know how to get the best performance using this, uh, this the transmission power using this, uh, this uh, mobile sensor.
Today we are in the test field of Consorzio Acquedotto in Monferrato where uh, we can test our uh, devices on uh, specific, on the custom pipes. As you can see here we have this uh, uh, test pipe where we put uh, uh, some uh, taps in order to simulate uh, leakages. The pipe is connected to a pump uh, from the uh, Consorzio Acquedotto Monferrato able to give us a pressure up to uh, four bars. So the, uh, the water flows inside the, uh, the pipes, simulate the moving of uh, the sensor. Before we insert uh, the, uh, the ball, we want to mention that we have the gateway here. The transmitter here will communicate with this gateway. And the gateway will transmit this data to the back-end server here in the laptop. The back-end server will process the signal and will detect if there's a leakage or not, what kind of leakage we have. Usually this will be in the control room and this will be in the field. We can put inside this pipe our mobile sensor and uh, uh, receive the signal coming from the, uh, the leakage. In this uh, uh, test we have two uh, leakages. One is here on this, uh, in the middle of this pipe and the second one is in the middle of uh, the second uh, pipe. At the moment, uh, the device is quite big. It, uh, the version that has been manufactured is just a demo version, and it is suitable for uh, pipelines with a diameter ranging from uh, 10 centimeters and more. The idea is that uh, this device can be reduced in dimension when it will be industrialized down to 5 or 4 centimeters uh, diameter, so it can be used in any kind of pipeline that is uh, normally implemented for a distribution network. Today's announcement is just really a milestone uh, because we have a long way to go in order to really uh, move from a pilot system or a, a, a prototype system to a fully commercial system. So today we are announcing the availability of a prototype uh, that uh, includes all components needed to uh, effectively and wirelessly detect water leakage in underground distribution networks. Thank you. Thank you.